because of this issue. Now they are trying to kill me. Everybody in your world, please help me if I die. One thing, wait. Malians, they used to stop this boy. Now because of courts. People need to start appreciating the effort I put into not being a serial killer. Uh, After the death of Mobad, so many videos have surfaced online about all the maltreatments, death threats, oppression, emotional and financial torture that he received from his former label boss, Naira Mali and his boys. And one name has stood out among all these Naira Mali's boys used in committing this crime. But before I give you more details about him, let me quickly show you all the things that he did to Mobad while he was still alive. But if you are new to the channel, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day. It was 25th of June 2023 and Mobad and Zlatan were having a video shoot on their latest collaboration on the song Account Balance and as always, Sam Larry showed up with his boys at the scene of the video shoot. Before I show you the video again, pay close attention to the guy we call last behind Sam Larry. According to petition filed by Mobad on 27th of June, Sam Larry and his boys also came with guns. So in essence, if Zlatan was not there, that would have been the day that they would have ended Mobad. Who knows the story they would have given us to cover up the crime on that day. But regardless, Emole still put up a courageous face in the music video. According to Mobad, before his death, Naira Mali and San Larry has been on his case incessantly since he left Malian's record. And this was different occasion when Sam Larry showed up with his boys. As you can hear, that was Sam Larry's voice. This was the aftermath of the attack. You don't do anything you do, no. Uh, you don't do. <laughs> and to show how severe this was, Mobad filed a petition against Sam Larry because of the constant attacks. As you can see, the petition clearly said that this is a petition of threat to life, malicious damage of properties valued at the sum of 5 million naira, assault, occasioning harm, and conduct likely to cause breach of peace against Sam Larry. For clear context, this is the guy in question, Sam Larry, a good friend of Naira Mali. The for three years old show promoter's name is Balogun Olalekan Eletu. He was born on 7th of January 1980. He's one of Naira Mali's biggest fan, business associate, and also a certified and verified Malian. Sam Larry is one of these Instagram big boys in Lagos who also run the street. Just like a typical Lagos big boy, he also has a lot of boys under him and he is also a big affiliate of APC. In fact, the summary of everything is that the street respects him. But this scary story of Mobad about the intimidation and violence he faced from his former label boss, Naira Mali and Sam Larry, is a reminder that Nigeria and its music industry is very dark. I'm sorry if you don't understand Yoruba, but this cryptic video was posted by Sam Larry a day before the death of Mobad. Watch the video, I will then explain what he said in the video to you in English. The summary of everything he said was, it's only inside movies that dead body appear to a person, they don't appear to the person in real life. Let everyone keep quiet and don't reply to anyone below your category on social media. Sam Larry has since deactivated his Instagram account following the attacks he received online since the video and others emerged. But investigations are currently ongoing on the death of Mobad and different people are connecting the dots on social media. Even though the Nigerian police force is not trusted to do a desirable job here, they said that if need be, they will assume the body of Mobad for autopsy. Because according to police, upon receiving Mobad's petition, 
They invited Sam Larry for questioning, but Mobad never showed up. First, we do not know if this is true or false because the Nigerian police can never be trusted. But if at all it is true that they invited Mobad but he didn't show up, what do you expect Mobad to do? A young man that is terribly scared of his life. I'm in jail, bro. Please just help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Yo, that fool. Just take a look at this picture. That's Sam Larry, Naramali, and Lagos State Governor. And this is Sam Larry with Tinibu in Saudi Arabia. If you are in Mobad's shoe, and the police invite you and Sam Larry for questioning on the same day, will you show up? And you already know, contrary to what they say, the Nigerian police is not your friend, and it's that simple. To bust your bubbles, this is another side of the story. Mobad had an arrest warrant on him by the Nigerian police before his death. So this is more or less like arresting him for reporting Sam Larry to the police for assaulting him. If you can remember, sometime last year, Potebo said that Sam Larry is the leader and the founder of One Million Boys and accused him of trying to kill him. In case you think this man has nothing to do with Mobad's death, well, watch this video. You say you don't use YouTube. You say you just in case you didn't hear it, a voice from the crowd said, Sam Larry Mark Badano, which means Sam Larry is going to kill you. And that was during Mobad's last performance on Sunday, before his death on Tuesday. You can see that they already planned his execution. Well, Mobad is not the only one that has been oppressed by Sam Larry before. Then go come out your chain for your neck, you go pay for the drink with a drink for that club, you go send money to them. <laughs> Small, small children, we just they try also this money, go give for back back. They don't beat them, they don't collect money, they don't tell and say they go kill them, even tell anybody. Now, Samilari by himself go to tell you, say, make you they go to the police station now, if they come. And to true, go reach the police station, you go shake the PO because now you sabi them. One thing where money and they used to stop this boy now because of courts, they, they won't make him do what he no one do. Why? They won't make you do what you don't want to do. Because they won't make you do court. Why did they disturb this boy since? Why did some like they disturb this boy everywhere where you go? Did they go disturb and they beat and they do all this for And this is coming from Leo Smart, a former signee of Nayamali. In defense of himself, on 15th of September, Sam Lali dropped this video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We're about to go me. Oh, come in here. Something in for Lami Balog will let you. Mo Bobo got on Shale, Mubad, brother, me, Mo like a go. Bobo got on my lazy record go. Mo no mock with money love for even the aware. Bobo went about mock with money love for Mubad. Bobo with the band law. Kayani, Jubaini, Mani Mubad, Jaja Law, my son of my lazy record, Jassy Show. In case you don't understand Yoruba, the summary of what he literally said was that he didn't kill Mobad, that Mobad is a good friend of his and also like a junior brother. He does carry Mobad to Kenya, Dubai and other places whenever he is traveling and though they had a fight but not up to killing him. And the fight and those videos circulating online was last year and Zlatan was a witness that he never touched him. And as a big liar that he is, he said that all those videos are from last year. But the attack on set with Zlatan happened on 25th of June while they were shooting the music video for account balance and the date is even on the petition. Contrary to the love that he claimed for Mobad, this was some Larry stepped phone call after Mobad was declared dead. Hello. 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 In word to word, this is what he said on the phone call. All stations have been settled, so no case to answer. Okay, here is a better explanation of it. He literally said that all police stations has been settled, so there will be no case for them from Mobad's death. And on Nairamali's side of the story, this was Nairamali's first reaction to Mobad's death. This heartbreak emoji. And two days later, he posted this on his IG story, asking a lot of questions about what happened to Mobad. He then went ahead to change his profile picture on IG to Mobad. But this guy, posted a video on Snapchat a day after Mobad's death, dancing and talking about girls and fun. Clearly, he was having fun and celebrating the death of Mobad instead of being heartbroken as he claimed. And if you can remember, last month, Naira Mali was made the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency Ambassador. 
And then making Naramali an ambassador with Sam Larry in the picture says a lot about their transparency. So clearly, Naramali, Sam Larry and NDLA has been working together and this video clearly proved it. And this was in February 2022 after Mobad was released from the custody of NDLA. Before you watch the video, let me quickly give you a summary of what he said. He clearly said in the video that while being arrested with Zinoliski and others, he was the only one forced to take a liquid in a bottled water container. And after taking the liquid, they said that he didn't do anything. Then he was released and others were held there. So, in essence, he was drugged in a National Drug Law Enforcement Agency office and he complained that his health started deteriorating after the NDLA saga. So, it's very obvious that Mobad was living in bondage until his last breath. This is just too much for a young boy who just started his life since he left Naira Mali's record, Malians. He has also been harassed and flogged by thugs sent by Naira Mali and Sam Larry recently. The painful part is that these men can be arrested because they have political backing and in few days, everybody will forget about Mobad and move on. There is no evidence yet on whether Mobad died out of the drug that he was forced to take at the NDLA or the aftermath effect of the beatings he received from Sam Larry and his boys or through Juju, even though there can never be an evidence for Juju. But one thing is for sure, out of these three possible causes of Mobad's death, Naira Mali and Sam Larry are the major syndicates here. So there you have it. Thanks for watching today's Africa. Please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every day.